I'll tell you something. You better thank your lucky stars that that principal of yours is a complete nut job. Otherwise, I can't even imagine the kind of shit he'd be in right now. Roger, just because the school is going to try and cover this up doesn't mean that he is not in trouble. He got this woman pregnant. She's going to have his baby. How could you not tell us? I knew you wouldn't understand. We agreed that we weren't going to keep secrets from each other, especially when it has to do with aliens. They didn't have anything to do with this. Excuse me? A 33-year-old woman suddenly throws herself at you and you don't think it has anything to do with the aliens? I meant that the aliens didn't have anything to do with my feelings for Ms. Myers. I've always been attracted to her. Cameron, do you understand the consequences of what you've done? Because believe me, the decision to have an alien baby is not something that either of you should take lightly. And how are you planning on raising it? Are you going to go out and get a job to support this new family of yours? I mean, have you even talked to her about how difficult it's going to be to raise this baby? She doesn't know it's alien. How could you not tell her? Because it's complicated. Oh, you think? Cameron, she needs to know. I know she needs to know. When I found out she was pregnant, I tried to tell her. I was trying to tell her when we got caught. Well, what about before that? Why didn't you tell her when you started having sex with her? I mean, didn't she want to know why your sperm was glowing orange? She thought that was normal. How could she think that was normal? She was a virgin, okay, Dad? And I happened to be in love with her. And I wanted to believe that she felt the same way about me, not because of the aliens, but because of me. Is that so wrong? Yes. Don't worry. Once she sees that I'm pregnant and perfectly healthy, she'll realize that it's not so bad. She might even embrace it. And you know, there may even be a silver line into all of this. After all, there's going to be two babies now. They'll be able to play together and help each other adapt. So they won't feel so, you know. Alien. Right. Miss Myers, what are you doing? Don't come any closer. But there's something I have to tell you. I know all about the aliens now, Cameron. And what you did to me. You can't trust these people. They're not who they say they are. They're from a secret government agency. I know who they are. They're going to help me. <sighs> Goodbye, Cameron. You bastards! What are you going to do with her? You heard her. We're giving her the help she needs. And if you were smart, you'd let us help you too. Next time on Alienated. So, you see, as the baby drops, the pelvis actually separates to allow the head and shoulders to get through the canal.